Hi guys, welcome to today's QGIS tutorial lesson 25, which is part 2 of lesson 19, how to create web maps. In today's lesson, we will learn how to publish web maps created in QGIS leaflet in a free hosting site online. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so so that you can get a notification when I upload my next video. If you are new to my channel, you can follow all my previous lessons and useful GIS tips from the links in the descriptions below. Let's get started. So today we are going to look at two easy hosting options. One is uh, github.com and two is infinityfree.net. So we are either going to use either of the two. The process is similar. So the steps that we are going to take are, we are going to open an account in either of the two uh, websites. We are going to customize our settings, then we are going to lower the index files and the data. And finally, we are going to publish the web map. So, for those who are joining us, we had actually gone through the steps of creating a web map in QGIS and uh, using the, the a plugin called the QGIS to web plugin that enabled us to create a very, very, very nice uh, web map for my country, Kenya, of conflict data and uh, as I had promised, uh, I was going to show you how to host this online. If the video that I created reached a thousand views, I was going to actually create now another video that is going to show you how to now host it online. So actually, when I'm, I look at my channel today, I realized that the video how to create web maps here, which is here, had reached 999 views. And it has actually motivated me to create part two of this uh, very, very, very interesting uh, exercise. So let's go to QGIS and just look at uh, the options that we took. So we had uh, some conflict data for Kenya and uh, we had actually created a web map out of this and we had just actually saved it in our local uh, drive where we were able to just look at it and uh, what you want to do now is you want to now be able to host it online so that anyone who has the link can be able to access it and you remember we had actually saved the, uh, the all the files in into one folder that contained the css the data the images the uh, javascript the legend the markers the web fonts and then the index file and in the in our index file if you remember if we open with notepad we were able to access our code and we are even able to even make some edits here and just uh, save the edits and uh, look at the changes. So uh, previously when you just double clicked on the index file, it actually opened our web map and uh, the web map was just hosted within our local drive so you couldn't actually be able to share it with any other person apart who is not connected to your computer. So right now what we want to do is we want to now be able to host it online so that actually people can be able to just have a look at it from different locations without necessarily uh, being connected to your computer. Uh, we are going to take two approaches. So today we are just going to, I think we are going to be using the github.com and for the infinity we are not going to look at it but it's just still similar uh, we're going to open our browser then create uh, open a new tab and then type git hub and then we hit enter and it will take us here and we'll go to the official website of github so i'm going to select github and then this is the official website of github so what you you need to do first is you need to sign up if you haven't you don't have any account with github for me i already have an account with github so i'm not going to sign up again i'm just going to click on sign in then i'm going to log in into my account by default I can, you can see my uh, this is my username or my email address and then my password and i have uh, enabled auto remember for my computer so I already have everything in so I'm going to just click on sign in and I have signed in into my github account now that we have logged in into github 
if you want to publish our web map this is that these are some of the steps that you're going to take first we're going to click on just next to your your profile picture you're going to click look at there is a tab there a drop down that you're going to select and then you're going to select new repository so i'm going to select new repository then you can see there is the owner then the repository name so the repository name for this can be conflict data tests so you can see it has given me a green light that there's no other repository created by that name then i'm just going to scroll down and write the description of my project or my web map So you can write as much as you want there then i'm going to click on public i'm going to just leave it to be public then i'm going to initialize this repository with i'm going to add a read me file i'm going to leave all the rest unchecked then i'm going to click on create repository then now it has actually created a repository called config data test the only thing that i actually have in my in my repository is the readme uh, file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to now add my files here the files that actually we had used to create our our web map so i'm going to copy everything that is within this folder to this location here what are, how am i going to do that there is a when you look at now these tabs you'll see there's a tab called add file you're going to select the add file tab then i'm going to upload files i'm going to select to upload files and then you can see drag files here and add them to your repository or choose to or choose your files so you can just go and choose your files from wherever they are i'm going to just do the easy option which is drag all my files there so i'm going to just select every file here then i'm going to select all of them and i'm going to drop them here so i'm going to drop them here to, to be uploaded and you can see it had started uploading my files this is going to, set to, to take a little bit of a while so uh, see you when all the files have been uh, uploaded now that all your files have been added we're going to scroll down so that you can be able to commit the changes as you can see all these files have been added here so we're going to scroll up to down and then you're going to select commit changes and these committed changes will go to directly to the main branch so i'm going to commit changes yeah click on commit changes and then let it process the files for a few minutes And now you can see all your files have now been uploaded including the index html file that you can just open directly here and you'll be able to see now that now you have your very nice code here for the web map so you can also even make changes here but i'm going to just deploy this as it is so The next thing I'm going to do now that I have all my data here saved, I'm going to go to the settings tab. I'm going to select settings. And then I'm going to scroll down on this page until I reach the GitHub page. And then under the source, you can see GitHub is designed to host your personal organization or project page pages for GitHub repositories. So under the source, there is none currently. 
so uh, none saved so i'm going to select a drop down here and i'm going to say the main branch which is the root then i'm going to click on save you can actually change your themes here but i'm not going to change the theme i'm going to save it as it is and then now when i scroll down you will see that now i have uh, under the github page now it tells me that your site is ready to publish uh, this uh, web map so i'm going to select these i can actually open this in a new tab to see if it works first so i'm going to open it in a new tab and then wait and see what happens and you can see it is a secure account so it is https so let's see how it works how it goes and now this is our web map you can now see we are online so this has just worked perfectly for us so I'm going to go back to options here I'm going to right click on this link copy link address then I'm going to go back to the conflict data here test and then I'm going to go back to my readme file select it and then you can see there are two lines here and I'm going to add the link in that slot by clicking on edit this file and you can see I can put it under number three there paste that link there and then scroll down and say commit changes And finally, now we have our conflict data test, the uh, simple web map okay, for, for my data. So I can actually copy this or open this link and share it to anyone and everyone who wants to access this data online or from any remote, any, any location that is available. So you can see now our web map is live and it's online. I can actually email this link to anyone and they'll be able to just access my web map and you can see it has the Google Maps I can just remove the Google Maps so that I have have the Google satellite image and you can see if I hover around I have I get actually some information about what this data is all about and I can even use the open street map by just removing all the I can zoom in zoom out I can actually search for things here or I can find whatever I want to find in this web map so actually that is how we now publish a web map online using the github you can also do the same thing by going to infinity free and then you can see infinity free is a free and unlimited web hosting so you have to sign 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 up for an account and just follow almost similar steps copy your your files in and host your web map there we actually started from qgis and we have now a very very nice web map here hosted that is now currently online and you can actually uh, uh, you can actually put this link in your browser and see if you can access my web map from your location so that's it for today's exercise if you found this video useful and you want to learn more on GIS, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, otherwise I'm just happy you're here. See you in my next video.